What's up beautiful people, it's your boy GDO and I'm back again with a new video. Today I'm bringing another video that is going to be very interesting. I want everybody watching to see what is going on in the world today and tell me what you think. Now this video is titled Muslim Father Trashy School Board Over Obscene Kids Books. I've seen this video already and I was just watching it personally. I thought this is going to be a good one to bring to the channel so all of you can see with me. I'm ready. I'm excited. I'm, I'm not excited. I'm interested to see what you people think. Let me correct myself. <laughs> but without wasting your time, let's get to it. I want to first start out by saying one thing. Any of the teachers that are here, our beef is not with you. Our beef is with you. On the other side. So let me get that out of the way. Now, last month, I came to the board meeting for the first time in my life. And we read some of the material that was in these so-called books. So pay attention to what is in kids' books. Just pay attention. The great sex app debate. There's actual reviews about Grindr. Say reviews about Grindr. If you don't know what Grindr is, so Grindr is like a dating app for... Um, like uh, if you're sexually curious or you're um, in the LGBT community, so it's a dating app basically, but this is in kids' books. Like the dating app, they can do their thing, right? But this is a review in kids' books. It's like putting Tinder in kids' books. Saying how good it is. I have used Grinder. The advantages are you can get what you want quickly. This is from the book. I've met a variety of interest. Look at this man's face to see his expressions. Let me expand the screen so you can see. Look at his face. Do you see his, his facial expression? He's shocked. Interesting people through sex apps. They're predominantly used for sex, though. They're sold to us as social networking apps, but we all know what they're really for. I don't have a problem with that aspect of it. If people want casual sex, then something like Grindr is a must. Kids and we read books. that too last month. And you looked at us like we were some kind of crazy people mm -hmm. speaking to you. Like almost like we had nothing to uh, like, like we had nothing to say. Now, does anybody need a college education or a PhD to know that this book is not appropriate for kids? Ask me. Why in God's name do we need <laughs> to have me. some complicated process? This is strictly just common sense, guys. Yeah. How did we get to this point? So. How did he get in the, I don't understand. Like, that's the question. How did he slide into be a part of the, is it curriculum? Like, how, how did he get, was it misplaced or something? <sighs> when I mentioned this last week, I thought what's going to happen is you guys would be like, okay, you know what? You parents, you have, you have a point. We'll work on making our processes more robust. These books absolutely do not be belong in the library. But instead, what happened was the exact opposite. We were viciously attacked, social media and beyond Imagine. social media. Even people like me. These are parents saying we don't want this for our kids and they're attacked on social media. I wonder what, what, what some people are thinking. Like when you go attacking people like this, like what are you thinking? What world do you really want to live in? People trying to get me fired from work. And yet, at the same time, mm -hmm. they are attacking us while at the same time being the victim. And all along, all you guys are silent. Quiet, yeah. What exactly are you doing? So, let me say this. Let me say this. I have faith in the great people of Dearborn, okay? The vast majority of people in Dearborn agree with us. Mm -hmm. Everybody should. Not just the vast majority, everybody We should. are a compassionate people. We are a tolerant people. We are a faithful people. And at the same time, we are a courageous people. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to give up until this issue is finally resolved. And unfortunately, it's not going to get resolved until you guys are removed from the board. <laughs> so you guys must go now. We're bringing the smoke, all the smoke. They must go. And I stand with that because that's crazy. Parents... One thing I'm going to say to you, when your kids go to school, when they come back, ask them, what did you learn in school? Not just because um, you're checking if they're doing well in school, but because you're curious of what people might be teaching them, of what the teachers might be teaching them or sharing with them in school. 
yeah, you should ask your kids because you, you don't know what it's easy. You see, when they try to push agenda, they put it into education, into the whole system. And then the kids now grow into the system and think that is normal. And you see your kids acting a certain way. You think, where did they get this from? I'm a, I'm a good father. I'm, I'm raising my kids right. How come my kids turn out to be this way? It's because of what they've learned in school. If you've sent your kids to boarding school, I don't know how you're going to check them. I don't know. Like personally, I went to a boarding school. I wouldn't recommend sending anybody to a boarding school. <laughs> and my boarding school wasn't horrible, by the way. Anyways, that was a very interesting video. Let me know your thoughts on that one. If you want us to bring um, more videos like that to the channel, you know, so we can see what is going on in the world, enlighten ourselves and get to be more careful, please let me know in the comment section. And for everybody who's going to come to the comment section to fry me or to criticize or to say what they want to say, bring the smoke. I'm up for it. I'm ready for the smoke. So bring it. <laughs> without wasting your time have a very wonderful day smash the like button so more people can see and you know we can get more people aware and subscribe if you're new to the channel peace peace out